How many of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best? Because if you can, you're fucking lying to yourself. Your best is a moving, evolving, changing scale. The grind is real. And everything that you do up to this point and beyond will depend on you. Are you a grinder? Are you determined? Are you willing? Will you go that extra mile? Will you put forth the effort that is necessary to get what it is you're seeking in your life? You can always do better. You can always do more. You can always improve. You can always find a way to get a better result and to sharpen your skills. You guys are always looking for that extra thing. I'm going to read this book. I'm going to buy this program. I'm going to join this mastermind group. I'm going to go to this seminar. None of those things will replace the fucking work. There is no shortcut. There is no way to make it faster. There is no way to make it easier. You've got to do the fucking work. You can't go through life looking to do the minimum and get the maximum. If you want the maximum, you got to fucking do the maximum. You guys got to go all in. You can't stick your fucking toe in the pool and say, oh, you know, I don't know. This kind of feels weird. No, you have to dedicate every fucking breath, every fucking ounce of energy and every fucking thought and effort that you possibly have to becoming what it is you want to be. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. You don't hunt from eight to three, why? Because the gazelle may not be open from eight to three. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every fucking year, for as long as it fucking takes, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do on Saturday, what you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a what day it is. It's gonna run no matter what. If you wanna get where I think you wanna go, you better learn to get really used to being uncomfortable. Because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. If you want unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you don't judge according to appearances. Part of being unreasonable, you can see it because you believe it. That's part of being unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. That's part of being unreasonable. Listen to me, this is how you do it over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. And so I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not, why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I've been cheating myself and my family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop a habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop a habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. We can't work out without purpose. We need to get into our dress for the wedding. Summertime's coming, so we want to look all good. The biggest purpose in life isn't all it. It's how you respect yourself, how you look at yourself. That's an everyday journey. So every day you should be getting after it. We look at determination, self-discipline. We look at hard work. All these terms are almost like we dread them. So don't look at them as dread and punishment. Look at those words as a lifestyle. Stay hard. Betray your destiny and see how long it takes you to be drowning in a storm. It'll happen immediately, and, and of course it will, because 
what, what's calling you to be your best is exactly the thing that's pushing you forward to manifest yourself most fully in the world. It's what you need. You run away from that, the boat's going to start to rock very, very quickly. Well, how, what does that mean? Well, what else would come out of chaos? You know, if you, if you fall apart and then you put yourself back together, what is it that comes back out? Well, at least you're in better shape than you were before, you know? And, and then maybe you do that 20 times in your life or 50 times and you do it voluntarily. In short, 92% of the average person's worries take up valuable time, cause painful stress, even mental anguish, and are absolutely unnecessary. And of the real legitimate worries, there are two kinds. There are the problems we can solve, and there are the problems beyond our ability to personally solve. But most of our real problems usually fall into the first group, the ones we can solve, if we learn how. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. If you want to be great, if you want to be one of the best that's ever fucking lived at what you do, you have to understand that it's about developing our own skills. It's about developing our own style. It's about developing our own swagger. It's about developing our own self. And what mountains could we move, I think? What gridlock could we eradicate if we were to join forces and work together in service of something greater than ourselves? You know, my deepest satisfaction and my biggest rewards have come from exactly that. Pick a problem, any problem, and do something about it. Because to somebody who's hurting, Something is everything. And what I know for sure is that the biggest choices begin and end with you. Your internal big questions. Who do I want to be in the world? My relationship to source energy, to all that is God. I'm not talking about what you believe in God. I'm talking about your experience of that which is all life, which is divine and universal. I'm talking about the big deal. Being connected and aligned with that. When you are tuned in and charged into that, whenever you feel empty, you go inside yourself and you connect to the source and you know that all things are possible. Your life doesn't have meaning without aspiration or an aim. Okay, so you need a hierarchy of values. There's got to be something at the top. It's got to be something important. If you don't have that, your life doesn't have any meaning. So if you criticize the hierarchy, or even the ideas of, idea of hierarchy, you destroy the idea of aspiration. And then people have nothing. Well, that's not helpful. People are built for a struggle and they're built for a weight. And you want to take on a heavy burden voluntarily. See if you can put yourself together. See what you can do out in the world while you're waiting to die. It's an all-in game. It better be worthwhile. And so there's a tight relationship between responsibility and aspiration and hierarchy. And when you criticize those things, you get rid of the aspiration. I know for a fact that way too many of you, way too many, worry way too much about other people and not enough about yourself. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing, instead of executing on your own opportunities, then you are setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what and when is doing what. And it's never about you, what you're doing. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like you and me. No, they don't, because they are smart. They worry about their own shit. They worry about their own actions. And they worry about how they can get better at it. That's the key. That's the key for everything, you see? While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working, man. 
I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level.